Om Shanti, welcome back to 29th of June's Godly Blessing, where Supreme Godfather wants us to be free from all the obstacles in our life. So let's see what is his method which he is teaching us here. God says, may you be, may you stay free from obstacles with the double lock of accurate remembrance. Now what is this double lock? And we put a lock so that nothing enters, nobody enters inside, right? And service and become feeling proof so the double lock is of remembrance and of service both the things and become feeling proof whatever doors there are for maya to enter put a double lock of remembrance and service on them that means godly remembrance meditation or raj yoga and be busy in service if maya comes even when you do stay in remembrance and do service there is then definitely something missing in your remembrance and service. Real service is that in which there is no selfishness. Nothing we are doing for proving something about ourselves or for getting something or gaining something for ourselves. Even a subtle selfishness like showing others that, see, I'm doing so much of service, people are coming to me and not to you, is also selfishness. If there isn't altruistic service, then the lock must be loose that means some impure method or impure thinking has entered in our mind and remembrance also has to be powerful that means i'm doing godly work and god is making me do this work it's not i me myself otherwise there'll be tiredness there'll be mistakes which are being going to be done when you have such a double lock you will become free from obstacles and you will then be beyond any wasteful feelings. Obstacles, in the sense, if we think that we are doing the service, I am doing the service, then there's going to be ego and other people are going to feel that ego. And automatically they're going to create obstacles in your life. So if you're doing it out of humility, if you're doing it on the basis of godly guidance, then the obstacles are going to go away. And you will then be beyond any wasteful feelings of why and what. Why did this happen? Why did that soul do something like this? Why am I not allowed to do service? Why am I being stopped? Why are there so many obstacles in doing service? And what happened? What did I do wrong? All these wasteful feelings and thoughts are not going to be there. And then God says, and become a feeling proof soul. So... When you have a double lock of remembering God and at the same time serving other souls with a clean and clear heart, complete cleanliness, no selfishness, you will become free from obstacles. Generally the obstacles come in the way of confusion in the mind. Obstacles come in the way of understanding that somebody is trying to stop me from moving ahead. Obstacles come in the form of my own weaknesses sometimes feeling like I don't deserve it I'm not good enough for it and these becomes obstacles because we are doing it out of selfishness which doesn't give us the power to move ahead in life so the God says and you will then be beyond any wasteful feelings of why and what you still go ahead keep on moving ahead because you know that you're doing it with a true pure heart and nothing will stop you nobody's taunts nobody's comments will stop you and if they are stopping you, that means we are not on the right path. That means our feelings are not yet clean and clear. So then God says, and become a feeling proof soul. It doesn't come with arrogance. It doesn't come with saying that I don't care what others think about me. I'm just going to go ahead. No. We have to take everybody ahead together. We have to bring everybody ahead together and make sure that everybody moves ahead along with us. It's not going to be I, me, myself. That is selfish way of serving others. So how do we do this? How do we reach this goal of serving others without selfishness and with godly remembrance is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. It comes with practice, with experiences, by tuning ourselves every single day and finding out where we have done the mistake and how do we need to improve it. And the mistakes are generally lack of humility, lack of tolerance, lack of sweetness and ego. So more about it when you do the 7 course with this Om Shanti.